welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about the new bag that i got now in april it was my birthday and i don't know what happened but i bought three bags so i went a little crazy but this is probably the bag that i'm like most excited about the one that i've worn the most and so i'll show you in a second but i will do some videos for the other bags that i got so you'll see them eventually <laughs> They did a little rebrand recently which i'm loving but like before <laughs> i was not a fan of coach so this is the bag that i got so this is the pillow bag from coach it's the original size the 28 i believe it's called i know they came out recently with like a smaller one but this one is just honestly the perfect size and so as I said, the past few months, I've been shopping for a new bag because I knew I wanted to get a new bag for my birthday. And I was looking at, you know, designer bags. Um, I got a YSL bag, which I'll show you soon. But, um, yeah, so I saw a lot of people with the, the new, like, pillow bag from Coach. And I was not really into it. I don't know why. I knew it was there, but it was not more than that. You know what I mean? And then one night, I was in my bed watching videos. And then this one girl just completely sold me on the bag and she actually had this one and I don't know I guess the way she was dressed and with this bag she looked very expensive and I love to look expensive okay and she just like really sold me on it I was like wow this bag looks amazing so then I slept on it but then I had a dream about the bag so the next morning I ordered it so I bought the beige and I'm not even like a beige bag kind of girl I I love black and like I wear makeup on my body and stuff so beige is not really a color i like and i'm so pale that i usually don't like pale colors on me but this bag just works it's so nice but yeah so i bought the beige one and i also bought the pink one because i was really hesitating if i remember correctly this bag with tax is around like 600 dollars, so it's not so bad for a really great quality bag this is all leather it's very very soft leather so you have to be careful it doesn't really get dirty um i do wash it with like a wipe when i use it like when i come home and you know i've used it for the day so i try to keep it you know nice and clean i know like this bag is gonna get dirty there's also an orange color which is not really on the website so i don't know if it's available for canadians but the orange one is very very beautiful would love that color and i think i saw like a burgundy one on instagram so i don't know if it's the color that's really available yet or what but i think i might get one for the fall because this bag is so nice it's like the uh, the fendi baguette mixed with uh the kind of bottega like with the puffiness of it i thought it would be like very puffy and kind of uncomfortable on your arm but it's actually like very nice i feel like it goes really well with everything i've been wearing right now i pretty much only wear midi dresses now or like midi skirts so this bag just goes perfectly with it it's like it's so nice i love it yeah this bag honestly i have nothing wrong to say about this bag it looks beautiful freaking love it so yeah this is my new bag and it was probably like the less expensive bag that i got recently but it's my favorite i'm not gonna lie i love it so much yeah it makes my outfits look really good so i'll show you what fits in it it's a pretty a really good size my little camera that i'm filming with right now which is the canon g7x i got the mark iii recently and it i like it um, but yeah it fits really well in this bag and yeah a lot fits in there so in the middle pocket i just kind of carry cash which i usually don't really carry cash but anyways i have cash in there and then so it's going to be kind of a what's in my bag as well so i'm trying to be not as messy recently but anyways this is my little card holder usually my cards are all messed up but recently i've been keeping it clean so i keep this in here i usually always bring like a compact with me this is the max Fix plus um i actually just removed everything from my bag so there was a lot of trash now i'm just gonna put in what i'm actually gonna keep in my bag um and then usually a pack of gum and a lip balm then usually i have a few lip products so i just want to talk about a few that i've been really loving recently so my favorite lipstick of the moment is this one from ysl 
I've been loving like pink. So this is in the color 140. It's what I have on, but I also have this one, which I just got yesterday at Winners. Also, all the malls and the stores open where I live. So like just this week. So this weekend I went shopping. So I'm feeling much happier now that I have places to go because believe it or not, I love the mall. The mall is my favorite place to go, okay? It's like the mall is perfect because you don't need anybody to go and you can dress up to go because you're at the mall shopping so might as well look cute and it's just nice i love going to the mall so if somebody took the mall away from me i would be very sad um and the mall that's open right now in my area is not even the mall that i like but i still went I went shopping three times this weekend. I also got my nails done, so I'm feeling so much happier. The past two months were kind of bad. <laughs> Everything was closed, and that's why I didn't make any videos. I didn't, I was not even on social media, but anyways. So, this is like a lip balm from NARS in Orgasm. I really like it. It's pretty much the same color as this lipstick, it's just more sheer. So, I will keep these in my bag. And then, oh, also I just want to talk about this really quickly. This mascara is really good. It's the Mr. Big from Lancome. I also keep a lip gloss usually. This is the Lancome Juicy Tubes. This color is called Magic Spell. I really like this color. And then, usually I keep perfume with me. So recently I've been keeping the JYCTY Perfume Oil. This is in Heart of Gold. It smells really summery. Really, really good. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite recently. But I also had this in my bag, which I will remove. It's the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. It's just not really summer appropriate. So I'm not going to keep this one anymore. And I always keep a little sample of Chanel Chance Autumn because it's the perfume I wear a lot. So I just keep a little one here. And I usually keep a bunch of tampons. <laughs> and then I usually keep a tweezer with me because you never know. Never know. Um, and then my airpods so oh and then i had these also in my back so the lip liner usually i keep is the pillow talk number one from charlotte tilbury quite like that one and then i had a fenty gloss but i'm probably not going to keep that one in um so yeah i have all of this in my bag i could even put like more makeup if i wanted to but i love how i can fit a lot but it's not a big bag. It's very nice. Um, so I'll show you kind of the whole outfit, like how it looks. And yeah, but overall, I really, really like this bag. I'm so glad I got it. Um, it's a really great purchase. And I feel like the price is quite reasonable because I know it might be, it might be a trendy bag. You know, it might not stay for years and years, but... I think the price is great the qual you know for the quality it looks like a really nice bag it's very on trend right now these kind of i mean first the, the puffy bags and also the shoulder bags are really on trend so i really like it it's like my summer bag anyways i'll show you what it looks like but yeah if you were thinking of buying this bag i recommend it like it's so nice i love it so much so it looks beautiful so yeah so I just looked at myself in the mirror and my mascara was all over my eyes, so I'm sorry. So, this is me, the bag. It looks so cute. My dress is from Zara, by the way. Look how cute this bag is. I really love it so much. Hi, dear. Do you like my new bag? Do you like it, Ken? You look so cute. Okay, move. pretty much concludes this video i really hope you enjoy if you were thinking of getting this bag i really recommend it like i love it i think they did such a great job with this launch i really really love it um and personally i don't think i would go for one of the smaller sizes just because i feel like this is the perfect size like it's daytime daytime appropriate it's nighttime appropriate so um i'll be wearing this all summer long now that the restaurants are gonna be opening soon so excited to go out and wear my cute bag and my cute outfits. Um, so yeah, hopefully bring out more colors for fall because I'll definitely be at least 
considering a new color so um yeah anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to follow me on instagram it's at chloe zadori and i'll leave the bag below if you're interested and yeah thank you for watching and i will see you very soon in a new one bye